They're spread right out and across the track as well. And it's Tumble Brutus that continues to make, lead the Guineas field here. On the near side is Golden Sahara in the white cap. Barbadue in the far side, Whipper. Halft and Bachelor Duke, then the three valleys. These leaders have surely got to come back. They've gone very quickly for the first half of the race. As they run down to the final three, Halft is going well. Grey Swallow and One Cool Cat's got a lot of work to do over on the far side. He's got a massive amount of ground to make up. And Jamie Spencer getting little response up front. Whipper, the French horse has come there very strongly to head uh, Tumble Brutus, half on the near side, then Bachelor Duke and Three Valleys chasing these now. Salford City is beginning to find his stride down the centre of the course. They run down into the dip. It's half who made the first run here. Grey Swallow, Whipper, far side, then Snow Ridge running on. Azamur and Salford City inside the final furlong. And it's candidate in the yellow cap just chasing party boss party boss leads the candidate then dictatorial and tony james dubawi is close up in the all blue of godolphin as they race through the first quarter mile rob roy is also handy in the red jacket and then just in behind these then is tucker with pivotal flame rebel rebel over on the far side mr Gineppi. and after these then uh, footsteps in the sand is also handy on the far side as they head down towards the halfway stage satchel in a white cap further back is david jr oratorio is well off the gallop at the moment as is democratic deficit who's just about last as they run down now with uh, less than a half mile to cover in the 2000 guineas in his party boss that leads to tony james candidate and then on the far side footsteps in the sand iceman is picking up from the rear dubai is just hunting up the leaders that all blue jacket rob roy under pressure then tucker as they race down inside the final quarter mile and it's tony james taken on by footsteps in the sand then candidate in the centre party boss Dubawi begins to unwind so too democratic deficit on the near side followed by Tucker and Rebel Rebel but inside the final furlong is Kieran Fallon on footsteps in the sand who leads up the hill now from candidate Rebel Rebel tries to run on Dubawi on the near side but footsteps in the sand giant strides on the turf at Newmarket and wins the guineas in second Rebel Rebel third then possibly candidate it was a bunch finish George Washington tucked in behind runners, getting plenty of cover with Asset Opera Cape in the blue of Godolphin towards the back with close to you. Olympian Odyssey now leads the field inside the last four and a half furlongs. Olympian Odyssey from in second place, Sir Killybegs, Horatio Nelson Amadeus Wolf, near side Red Clubs with Sir Percy. Then close to you right there as well. Assets in behind them, final verse, and George Washington on heels near side Arafa further back with Miss You Bond as they run down now inside the final three furlongs and Olympian Odyssey is kicked ahead from Killybegs. Horatio Nelson towards the left, look to the right, Red Club, Sir Percy driven. George Washington now coming through under Kieran Fallon and he's looking very dangerous indeed inside the final two and George Washington has really quickened up there. Sir Percy chasing, Red Club's on the right, the far side Olympian Odyssey racing inside the final furlong. George Washington took two or three legs out of the field in a matter of strides. Sir Percy is trying to come at him on the near side but gorgeous George is in front a brilliant horse George and Paul Washington wins the guineas Sir Percy second Olympian Odyssey then a Rafa the stand side group on the right as we look down from the blimp it's vital equine that leads the way Two sunny red in the black sleeves evens and odds major caddo close up with these fish for compliments duke of marmalade diamond tycoon the green and white jacket behind these and then uh, further back in the field al shamali they run down towards the halfway stage now and uh, drayton has taken over on the far side from danum dancer those two disputing it over there vital equine has shot clear on the stand side can he possibly keep it up he's gone four legs clear on the stand side as they race down inside the final three furlongs Dutch art is out the back to the at the moment US Ranger making ground on the far side but vital equine is clear in the guineas as they run down inside the final quarter mile vital equine on the stand side chased now by sunny red Duke of Marmalade diamond tycoon also coming through Cockney rebel on the stand side over on the far side the French Raider US Ranger comes through to lead there from strategic Prince Hartef and Dutch art is running on well stand side Cockney Rebel gets past White Lequine as they race up to the line. Dutch off far side, US Ranger. Cockney Rebel in front. Dutch off far side. Cockney Rebel wins the Guineas. White Lequine second. Dutch Art on the far side. Duke of Marmalade chasing them up. 
Well, the favourite's going to play catch me if you can here, passing the five. Kevin Manning doing the steering and he's got the rail as well. There'll be no excuses from here. Al Fathar in second place, Fireside is third. Then Plan in fourth from Dream Eater, followed by Stubbs Art and Ibn Khaldun, who's just been uh, taken back in the field by Frankie. Perfect stride being Kajola Dong, Bahamian Kid, Henry the Navigator making a bit of ground from the rear. Stimulations out wide. Still no move from Ravens Pass right at the back of the field. And the 11 to 8 favourite, New Approach, still rolls along in front from Alpha Thar. Stimulation towards the outside. Dream Eater trying to stake a claim. Manning says, Go on, New Approach. And he's taken two legs out of them, maybe a bit more. Stubbs Art comes out of the pack. Henry the Navigator, Dream Eater looking wider out. Ravens Pass, Evan Galdoon looks beaten. It's New Approach taken on by Henry the Navigator inside the final furlong. New Approach challenged hard by Henry the Navigator and Johnny Mercer for Aidan O'Brien comes to take it with New Approach on the near side. Henry the Navigator and New Approach, probably in that order, stops our third. It's evasive that shows them the way just. Ocean's Minstrel on the right, Finjan between the pair. Then Ganaras further left in his Ukbar from Master Craftsman. Rip Van Winkle in the dark blue jacket. See the stars on the right. Chased by Lord Shanakil, Cityscape, Delegator patiently ridden. Then Ashram, pure poetry, monitor closely. See the stars away to the extreme right now, beginning to come with a bit of a run. As they head down inside the last two and a half furlongs, an open looking race, evasive, just spearheads them. See the stars now charging on the right. Delegator is unleashed on the left by Spencer. These three battling on from Master Craftsman, Ganaras, and Rip Van Winkle. They race towards the final furlong. Delegator and see the stars. Evasive is third, then Ganaras. Rip Van Winkle stays on. Well inside the final furlong. See the stars on the near side for Mick Canan from Delegator. And see the stars wins. A fourth guineas for Mick Canan. Delegator second, Rip Van Winkle and Ganaras were fighting it out for third. Because now Fair Trade comes through to take over from Buzzword, Greyfriars, Chorister, and Dick Turpin on the near side. They're tracked by St Nicholas Abbey. Almost three groups, Fair Trade and Buzzword over on the extreme left, down the centre. Dick Turpin now with Greyfriars, Chorister, tracked there by Johnny Murta on St Nicholas Abbey and by Alzir and Fencing Master and Extension is also getting a look closer now in a green cap. And then on the near side, Red Jazz, Canford Cliffs is making good progress from Elusive Pimpernel. They run down towards the final quarter mile in the guineas. Dick Turpin, fencing master. He gets to work on St Nicholas Abbey, looking for that acceleration. Extension coming there as well. And McPhee for France in the noseband, also looking dangerous as they race into the dip. Dick Turpin leads the way. McPhee is the challenger. Then fencing master extension. St Nicholas Abbey can't pick up. McPhee wearing down Dick Turpin. Then Camford Cliffs and extension. They race up towards the line. It'll go to France. McPhee wins the guineas. In second, Dick Turpin. Camford Cliffs is third. Frankel is already four lengths clear. He's heading down now towards the last half mile, and it's Frankel and Tom Queeley by five or six lengths to Casamento in second place, and then rerouted in third. Roderick O'Connor and Slim Shady and Native Khan just in behind those. Samit comes next, and then comes Brooks. Jubalbi Gold is still at the back of the field, but at halfway, Frankel is almost ten lengths clear. They're heading then down towards the bushes now. Frankel continues to be in a massive lead to Casamento in second place and then rerouted behind. That is par four. Jubabi Gold coming from the back of the field. But at the bushes, Frankel is 15 lengths clear. Frankel is heading down the water last quarter mile. He's making every yard of the running here. Jubabi Gold and Native Card have moved into second and third places. Par four is behind in third place. Into the dip. Frankel continues to be in front. He's six or seven lengths clear to Jubabi Gold. Is coming in the second, Native Khan in third position, inside the last furlong, a horse who is pure class, Frankel has destroyed them from halfway, an amazing performance as Frankel heads towards the line to make every single yard in the Guinness and win it well, Jubari Gold in second, Native Khan in third, Slim Shady is just in fourth and Fury in fifth. At the moment, the group on the far side and at the center have a lead over Redact, who heads up the main group with Trumpet Major Born to See. Then Fencing Top Off is just behind the speed in that group, in company as well with Red Duke. French 15, Camelot still towards the rear of that group as they're on down towards halfway. So now the near side group beginning to try and draw alongside. Trumpet Major Fencing Top Off on the right. Red Duke being produced with Born to See. Casper Netcher coming over to this near side group. Over on the far side, Aptal leads Hermival there. Saigon's a little marooned out in the center of the race 
race course, but he's still there front rank. Kaspar Nietzsche has moved through to lead the Guineas with Trumpet Major. Over on the far side, Hermival and Aptal lead over there. Behind these, Saigon, French 15 staying on. Camelot is now making good progress to come and join the leaders on the near side. Over on the far side, Hermival, Camelot and French 15 on the near side. French 15, but Camelot is knuckling down. Camelot nosing to the front and driven out. What a win for Joseph O'Brien. Camelot comes of age, beats French 15. They're on down towards halfway. Lettermore with his rider checking where the main body of the field are. Glory awaits in second over on the far side. Dawn Approach in blue and Toronado in grey have been side by side throughout. Don't bother me pushed along. Then Van Denier. Mars trying to improve with a white face. Cristoforo Colombo has a lot to do from there. Likewise pushed along is Garswood. Now two furlongs out. Toronado and Dawn Approach. Lockhorns, the big two, move past Lettermore. Glory awaits still running a blinder over on the far side with Van Denier. Dawn Approach the blue. Toronado in grey. The unbeaten horses with glory awaits for a shot over on the far side dawn approach asserts on the climb up the hill toronado now under pressure glory awaits is back in third place it's dawn approach who's two to three legs clear in the guineas glory awaits running a blinder as toronado runs out of puff but dawn approach seven from seven wins the kitco 2000 guineas an important success for godolphin jim bolger